Welcome to the fifth in the series of these Back to Basics Learning to Read Thai videos. This video is going to be quite short. It's quite tempting to put a lot of information in the video, but I'm really concerned about scaring people off. and I want them all to be at a level where they're, they're easy enough to follow. So that even if you're a complete beginner, there shouldn't be any problems. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce a new vowel. This one here, it's called Sara A and it just makes a long R sound. Now, in transliteration, it's only transliterated as a single A, which doesn't make much sense to me as an English speaker, but if my theory is correct that there was a lot of German input with the transliteration system, it does make sense. You look at the German word for yes, ja, it's a long R sound, but it's only one A, just J-A. And the other important point I need to make is that all of the Thai vowels can be used on their own, but several are also used in vowel combinations. So I'm going to tell you the sound the vowels make on their own, but when they're used in a vowel combination, that won't apply. And I'll, I'm really concerned about making things too complicated at this stage and scaring people off. That's why I'm not doing the vowel combinations. We'll, we'll go through the, the sounds that the individual vowels make right now, and later on, I'll do the, the vowel combinations. I'll just give you a quick example of that. And in a previous tutorial, I told you that this vowel here makes a long E sound, and it does on its own. But in this word, it forms part of a, a vowel combination, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. And these two are actually consonants, but they're used in vowel combinations. So this sound makes an eel sound. This word is liel, which is to, to turn. And it would be the same in words like um, kiel for the color green. So this sign, liel sai, mua, plop pai, turn, it's a, a traffic sign. So turn, turn left when it's safe to do so. But don't get too hung up on these vowel combinations. That's, that's too advanced at this stage. We'll just look at the, the, the sounds that individual vowels make and not vowel combinations. In the examples, I'll be using some consonants that we have covered already, and I might need to introduce some new consonants. If I do, I'll explain them. And also with these signs, I might just want you to look at one word, so don't worry about the rest of the sign. Uh, life in Thailand is pretty relaxed but sort of Thais have a tendency to do what they want and they do things that are convenient for them and not all Thais are that considerate towards other people. If you have a piece of land that you, you don't want people to fill up with rubbish, you need to put up a sign to tell people not to throw rubbish. And the word in Thai to not, not to do something is harm. It's this, this word here. So we have the the whole heap initial consonant, the H, then the long R vowel, and then the more ma final consonant, the um, M sound. Ha, that means don't do something. So you will see a lot of these in Thailand. And when you when you do see it, you know, it, it's telling you not to do something. So this sign says, ha, ting, kaya. Ting is to throw, and kaya is rubbish. Here's another ha sign. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual font. Uh, that that whole heap is quite difficult to read, but it is whole heap. Makes an H sound, so ha, the top word. And just for your information, underneath, uh, num is bring, ahan. Here we have two, two of those long vowels in that word, ahan, which means food. Hi, which means to give. And bla is fish. So uh, basically, this must be near a, a body of water and it's telling you not to feed the fish. Here's another don't do something sign. I told you that there are a lot of these signs in Thailand. Harm. So what shouldn't you do? And if, if you can read the rest, that's great. If you can't, don't worry. You know, by the end of these tutorials, you, you should be able to. And Thailand is, is predominantly a Buddhist country. And I've spoken to Buddhist Thais who believe that it's a sin to like neuter animals. 
but they don't want to look after the animals either. So when you come to Thailand, you'll see lots of stray dogs and lots of stray cats. No one wants to look after them, and because they're not new to it, they keep having offspring, and it just makes the situation worse. Um, what tires will do um, to, to get around this problem is just take like kittens and puppies to temples and just dump them at the temple, hoping that the, the monks will feed them. And this creates a big problem for the temples. So I, I took um, this photo um, at a temple, and I'll just go through what it says. So it says, harm, don't. Num bring, uh, look, ma. So ma is um, like an a informal word for dog. Sunak is a, is a more formal word. And look is um, offspring. So look, ma is uh, offspring of a dog, a puppy. And this one here is actually a missing vowel. There should, this, this vowel underneath should be here as well, but it's not, it's missing. So this word should say, look, mao. So we've got offspring of mao is cat. So ki kitten, puppies and kittens. Ma, like come. Ploe is to release. Um, bo body wane is, is like an area. What is temple? So don't bring kittens and puppies and release them at the temple. This sign is very useful if you're in Thailand. Uh, the first word here uses the, the long R vowel. This first consonant we haven't covered yet. It's, it's called ro ru and uh, it makes an R sound as an initial consonant and it makes an N sound as a final consonant. Uh, it's quite, it's, well, it's not quite, it's very, it's a very important consonant and um, there are some other funny ways it's used as well, but I, I will cover that in a, a future video. But what we need to remember is that when you see it as an initial consonant, it makes an R sound. So we have R initial consonant, then the long R vowel, and then the nornu, which we've done before, the N consonant as a final consonant. And it's got a high tone, so it's ran, which means shop or store. And then the, the second word, it's got the your yak, which is a Y sound as an initial consonant. And then the long R vowel with no final consonant, so ya, medicine. So basically shop medicine or medicine shop, uh, pharmacy, chemist. So if you're, not, if you're not feeling well in Thailand, this will be a good first stop to go. Just find a place with this sign outside and you'll be able to buy things to help you. And also the, the pharmacists have um, a six year college degree and they're, they're quite good at diagnosing problems as well. This sign is quite a, a tricky font, um, but the top word here, we saw before in the do not feed the fish sign it says ahan, which is the Thai word for food. And I mentioned before in a video that if a word starts with a vowel sound, you need to use a zero consonant. Um, the, the example I used before was the word for internet. It starts with an I sound. This word starts with a long R sound, but you can't just have the long R vowel on its own. You need to use that zero consonant. So the first syllable is a zero consonant and the long vowel, ah. And the second syllable is the ho heap, the H consonant. Then the long ah uh, vowel. And this one really confused me at first. It's actually the, the ro ru consonant that we just saw. But in this fancy font, it just looks like an English S, but it's actually, a, it's actually the ro ru which makes an R sound as an initial consonant and an N sound as a final consonant. So the word is ahan. Uh, underneath, we've, we've got another one of these long R vowels here. And the initial consonant is a jaw jan, which makes a J sound. And the final consonant is the nor nu, which makes an N sound. So that says jan, which means plate. And a few, a few moments ago, we looked at the, the EL 
um, vowel combination. It was liao for turn, uh, and you've got kiel for green, and here we've got the same vowel combination, but the initial consonant is a do de, which is the, the D, D for dog consonant. So this says diao, and that just means one. You know, if a Thai, if a Thai person asks you, um, ma, ma gi kon, how, how many people have come, you, you can say kon diao, you know, just me, just one person. So a han jan diao is just like a, a, a one plate meal. You don't have to order dishes separately. You don't need to order your, your rice and your, your curry and your vegetables separately. You get it on one plate. Ahan Jan Diao. In it, in a, every menu, there'll be normally be a section devoted for one plate dishes. Uh, but don't worry if you get confused with this sign. As I say, it's quite a difficult font to read. Now, this final sign is a sign that I've used in a previous tutorial when we were looking at this long e vowel. This first word says me, like to have. And there's also an example of the long R vowel. So this word here, Wang, means available. This, this sign is, is because the person has got a, a room available to rent. But if you're in Bangkok and you just look out for taxis, when the taxi has got no passengers and is available, the guy will turn on the sign at the front to show this and it will say Wang, the same as this word here. So it's the initial consonant Wawan, which makes the W sounds, then the long R, and then the Ngong Wu uh, final consonant, which makes an NG sound. So Wang. If you're a brand new beginner, some parts of that video were quite difficult. I'm trying to use real world examples in the video. But as soon as you do that, you encounter the strange fonts that are quite difficult to read. So I, I apologize for that. If you can keep up, that's great. If you can't, don't worry, it will get easier. If you have any comments, questions or other feedback, please leave them below. For the rest of this week, I'm not going to have much availability. But as soon as I get some free time again, I will make some more videos. So hang in there and thank you for watching.